Outdo yourself. Thank you, Palm Beach and Company. So why anybody would make a tie out of a bathrobe is beyond me. <laughs> That's a nifty, neat. Well, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. I <laughs> tied up in the bathroom. And if Charles ever does that to me again. He locked you in the bathroom? Tied me down to the seat. Oh. Charles did it. Isn't there so. a home she could go to? <laughs> No. Here, I, I no, no, no. Come on yeah, now, let's, they, let's not now. Let's uh, get Bob Haldane down here. A little applause for old Bob who won the game. Come on down, Bob. All right, right there on the blue guy. If you were with us yesterday, you will remember that. He won the game just about the time it expired, and uh, we're going to have a go at the big money now. Good luck to you, sir. You could win over $10,000 here. Uh, we polled the studio audience and we said, write down your best answer to this. Over your blank. All right, now three of the six stars will give you some assistance, Bob. I see that most of them are averting your gaze <laughs> there and turning their heads so that you won't call on them. Bart. Over your head. Over your head, that's good. One. Uh, McLean. Huh? <laughs> You're on. Oh. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Right. I just happened to think of it. <laughs> Over your shoulder. Uh-huh. Now, oh, Marsha has one. Oh, Marsha. Marsha has two. If you start off with me, it'll be over your dead body. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's over mine. Over Wait a my dead Charles? body. No, there's one with this one we should have done in honor of McLean. What? Over your cold. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, right. it's over my dead body, but if you sound right. authoritative, huh, they'll follow me anywhere. Sure, Look that's at them. right. They applauded that. They sounded that's good right. to them. If but I remember when East Side Story was up there, so let's not be too quick. I, I agree. Well, over your head, over your musical. shoulder, over your dead body. Those are the three. You want one of those or one of your own? I'm going to go with over your head. Over your head. You All right. That was my answer. Let's uh, reveal the $100 response. Over your shoulder. All right, that's one that was up there. The next one says, ah, over your dead ah. body. See? Right. Get an awful goofy right. group in here. Yeah. All right. Over your head is what he wants. Does he get it? Yeah. Yes, he does. Very good. <laughs> oh, Bart says he may convert. <laughs> Uh, Bob, uh, the congregational minister here, is wearing a tie that says Shalom. And well, then he may convert. Covering all bases here. Now, Bob, you've got 500 bucks here. That means the least you'll play for is $5,000. But, the good Lord willing, <laughs> <laughs> you can play for $7,000 here if you get a lucky spin. Not too hard, because it's a well-oiled wheel. But aren't we all? And, uh... <laughs> Have a go at it. a boy. Nice spin. Charlie, Charlie. That's what we call a near miss, Bob. A long miss. There. Right there, if you would, please. Good luck. Listen, you're playing for $5,000. Now, that's pretty good. Chuck, you ready? Yo. Right. <laughs> I love you when you're butch, baby. Blank. <laughs> Pancakes. Take a look at it, Bob. I'll show it to Charles just to make sure you both understand. Forget that. Pancakes. 
Bob, your job is to match Charles. If you do that, you get $5,000. Now, let's see if you can get on the same wavelength with him. What do you say? I think he said buckwheat. Buckwheat pancakes. Buckwheat. Oh, Bob. I'm sorry. I, there were a couple. Blueberry. I said buttermilk. Buttermilk. Oh. I'm sorry. Of course, you know, Brett's, a... Brett, Brett's church in Maine was... Uh, painted a beautiful buttermilk white. Oh, that's what right. That's true. I, uh, there was one that immediately popped Me, into my Will head, Barry. a very famous Aunt Jemima. trade name, Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Yeah. 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 Did you think of that? Of that and you rejected it. Buckwheat. Yes, you did. Buckwheat well, well, comes from Maine. Yeah. Yeah. There we eat <laughs> buckwheat. buckwheat up here, yeah. Oh, you eat a lot of buckwheat up yeah. there? Well, there's always a collection on Sunday, so don't worry. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get your opponent back here and go for game number two right now. Welcome back to... Right over there, Bob. And have a seat. Was it lonely back there? Yep. Oh. All right, here we go. Good luck to both of you. Sue, A or B? A, please. Yes, ma'am. Mike, the musician, said, oh. some things just don't make sense, like playing a Rolling Stones song on a blank. <laughs> playing a Rolling Stones song. Some things don't make sense, like playing a Rolling Stones song on a blank. <laughs> I think they're ready. Mike, the musician, said some things just don't make sense, like playing a Rolling Stones song on a blank. Tuba. Tuba. That's in Congress. Tuba. You really reach far afield, don't you, Sue? <laughs> tuba. I don't know what they had in mind. All right. I have to love the tuba. Tuba. Is that possible to play a Rolling Stones song on a tuba? <laughs> it depends on what you're on. I suppose it is. I, uh, I said playing a Rolling Stones song on a Beatles retrospective. And See, Riley if you were Crow. having a Beatles retrospective... You would not play a Rolling Stones song? Well, depends on what you're on. Yep. All right. I suppose you could. Yes, ma'am. Now, as all American knows, we do five shows in one day, right? Yep. For five solid shows, I thought we were having an earthquake. I thought, well, we're having an earthquake, and I was... His leg and condition. it's him. He does this, and the he whole thing shakes. Condition. And if you don't quit doing it, I'm going to go crazy. Right. Sure. Mock the afflicted. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I said... The Rolling Stones, uh, now this is because I, the Rolling Stones, my children love the Rolling Stones and the Grateful Dead. Wake up, this is going to get more interesting. I'm going to ask questions later. Now, is I the juice harp or is it Jews harp? On a frozen juice harp. All right, it's one of the two. It's either Jews harp or juice harp. Well, which one is it? actually Jews harp. Depending if you want to listen to music or you're thirsty, it doesn't matter. Well, if you're what an anti-Semite, I guess it's Jews harp. No, it's, if, you're, if, you're, if you're just no. not, it's your... It, it's your it actually Jews. is Jews harp, but some people of the Hebraic persuasion do get offended when you call it that. Yeah. But they'll get offended no matter what. I wonder what, how so. it got its name. Well, let's not go into that. It's very juicy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you play the horror. Violin. Violin is Charles' response. Some things just don't make sense, like playing a Rolling Stones record uh, song on a... Well, this is an ill wind that no one blows good, an accordion. An accordion. She's only kidding, Lawrence Welk, wherever you are. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Uh, she's not kidding, Lawrence Welk. She means every word of it. Fold your accordion. Here we go, McLean. I think Lawrence Welk is probably one of the greatest musicians in the world. He probably could handle a Rolling Stones medley. Dynamite. You think so? <laughs> How would he do it? A one and a two. Just like that. Oh. I couldn't Get think of that. a thing, so I just copied your answer and said accordion. Oh, you did? <laughs> well, any in Congress, any accordion. I didn't copy nobody on this. I just happened to not be too nuts about it. Remember that? Lady of Spain, I adore you. <laughs> accordion. Accordion. <laughs> Harp would have been in Congress. Harpsichord, all of those sure. things. Well, sure. Right. Tuba was bad enough. Yes, right. Oh, all right. Bob, we're going to do a little commercial here, and then we'll come right back to you for your round one question. This for you. Here we go. Ready, Bob? Yes. All right. Round one question. Sam said, this restaurant is really sleazy. How sleazy is it? I'll tell you how sleazy it is. I ordered a bottle of wine, and instead of serving it in a silver bucket, they served it in a blank. <laughs> Sam said this restaurant is really sleazy. I ordered a bottle of wine, and instead of serving it in a silver bucket, they served it in a blank. 
In a pot. 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 <laughs> I didn't know men of the cloth. <laughs> yes, we have, state pot. we have to, too, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> pot, there. A thunder mug? Pot. Pot. P-O-T, pot. Hi. Hello there. As well you know, Mr. Haldane is no longer a man of the cloth. He is a person of the cloth. All right, a person of the cloth. Cloth and he's person. wrong anyway, well, because... that doesn't make him a bad person. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Hefty bag. A hefty bag. All right, that's sleazy. Brett, what's sleazy? Now, I'm telling you, if you were a real uh, congregational minister, you would have said brown paper sack. All right. <laughs> that's sleazy. Getting a little closer, but still no cigar. An old can. An old can, also sleazy. No one we know, by the way. Right. <laughs> Instead of serving it in a silver bucket, they served it in a... I'm really ashamed of this answer, but I'm never going to that restaurant again. A bedpan. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 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 That's good. I'm like shocked. I'm Nay I love it. <laughs> well, there's nobody sleazier than you. Of course you'd love it. Right. Uh, well, McLean? Uh, I said a brown bag with a wino. Brown nice. bag with a wino. Only I left the in off. The a brow. matching wino. Oh, wino. Uh, with a wino. Well, I got awful. A brow bag. <laughs> brown. There it is. Brow now bag. it's right. Now it's like right away. Cup. All right, Marsha. What a better question for such a sleazy panel. It's a shame we couldn't. I came through with horse, you know. Yes, right. For the right reverend. Doggy bag. Doggy bag. That would be sleazy. So we have a tie score here of good, zero to zero. Bag. And that's, since that's uh, one. she went first last time, we ask you to go first this time. Okay, I'll still stay with B. All right. Anne said it's tough being married to a fireman. The only way I can get him interested in romance is if I keep a blank in our bed. <laughs> Here we go. Anne said, it's tough being married to a fireman. The only way I can get him interested in romance is if I keep a blank in our bed. A fire. A fire. A fire. <laughs> Warm him up a little. Huh? Right. It certainly gets their attention, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> get hot, honey. All right, Bart. Well, um, what I said is actually a technical term a three-banger, which is a, uh, a three-banger... Well, wait, I happen to know, having chased a few fires in my time, a three-banger alarm, alarm right. bell. See, it's a three-banger. Certain uh, a amount three of A three-banger yeah. is a triple alarm. That's triple when three alarm. stations respond to a fire. Oh, However, yeah. it makes a sort of interesting double entendre in this yes, sense. Yes, in this context, of course. <laughs> Come in. Now, yes. as most of America is aware, when you are a fireman, you work 24 hours a day at a crack, and then you work 48 hours... And so you're never alone. You're always with your other friends, right? So I said the only way she, he could ever, well, whatever it was she wanted him to do, was to get another fireman in the bed. I keep a fireman in the bed. All right, Charles. Sparing those two awfully boring stories, I just offer the correct answer. Fire. Oh. All right, one for Bob. Abby, are you going to light his fire? This is something I've never seen any fireman without. A hose. A hose. Oh, I threw that one out, Abby. <laughs> Tough being married to fireman. The only way I can get him interested in romance is if I keep a blank in our bed, McLean. No idea what this means. However, I did write it. Ladder. Ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means either. Well, thank you. But we all seem to be amused by it. To stand it just that's the whole thing. Isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Because yeah. in bed you just go one step at a time. That's oh fine. right, exactly. One step at a time. Yes, never get rung up on anything. Right, Marcia. I like all these ideas. I'm making a note of all of them if I ever get lucky again, honey. <laughs> bell. A bell. Yeah. Oh yeah, that bell right. goes off. She goes crazy. Right. <laughs> Sort of like All right, off. Sue, it's down to you, my dear. Now, you need one to tie and two to win. You're kind of in the driver's seat here, Sue. Here it is. <laughs> Out at the home, old man Periwinkle said, You really turned me on. <laughs> I've always adored women with malocclusions. <laughs> it arouses me. 
Show me your malocclusion. Oh, I love your malocclusion. <laughs> You're really mad. He says, I don't get much exercise anymore. Why, I haven't even blinked since 1949. I don't get much exercise anymore. So have you thought about this carefully now? Let's see how many of the stars you can match. I guess he's ready. Out of the home, old man Periangle said, I don't get much exercise anymore. Why, I haven't even blinked since 1949. Jogged. You know, I think you're going to back into it here and win with one, pal. Now, you would expect these dingbats to say jogged? You would, huh? Well, I don't think it's going to happen if I had to make a guess. It's not going to happen in this seat, I can tell you. Hiccuped. Hiccuped. All right. <laughs> see, that's very little because he's old, see? Oh, what you say? man was so exhausted he hadn't even belt. All right. <laughs> Walk. Walk. All right. Long way from jogging, Sue. Mm. Old man Periwinkle. What'd you I, say, Abby? I don't think they even knew what jogging was in 1949. No. Had to do with making cheese or something. Right. Got up. I haven't even got up since 1949. <laughs> yes. McLean? I uh, simply wrote blinked or rolled over. Blinked or rolled <laughs> over. Now you gotta sure. match Marsha to stay in the game. More um, fresher, just my favorite thing. Right. Well, I didn't really know, so you know, Dolly Parton, Howard Cassell, boobs or wee wee usually gets it. <laughs> so I tried this one and it didn't work either. No, all right. So that means Bob wins. Come on down, Bob. All right, there you would. Well, Sue, we have some wonderful gifts for you. We're going to send you a year old tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> and all kinds of wonderful things that I know you can use. Thank you for being with us. We'll roll her off and roll this message for America. And here again, the star of our show, Gene Rayburn. Hey, John. Ready. Let's go. We've been here before. We pulled an audience and said, write down your best answer to this. I told you blank. Okay, Abby. I told you so. Of course. One. Bart, what I heard all my teenage life, I told you not to. Uh, all right. Okay, Brett. He called on you, dear. I know, Jack. <laughs> I want to give him the right answer because I had it before. You see, I, I told you. I told you not to do that. All right. I told you not to do it. I told you not to. Look at that, and I told you so. I'll go with yeah, I told you so. I told, I told you so is what he wants. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Let's find out if it's up there and if so, where. May we see the bottom one, if you please. I told you I would is there. And now the next oh, one says, well, yes, that's the I told one. you to <laughs> shut up. Uh -huh. How many times have I told you to shut up already? Well, I think you got a pretty good shot at it here, uh, Bob. Oh. Let's see. I told you what? Yeah. So, and a boy. Congratulations. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. the second time I've been kissed by a minister. Right. Up here, if you would, please, to see if you're going to play for $5,000 or $10,000. Give it a spin. Not too hard. Then away we go. All right. Perfect. All right. Good luck to you for $5,000. All right, Brett, here we go. Higher and blank. No help from the audience, please. Higher and blank. H-I-G-H-E-R. Your job is to match Brett. If you do that, you get $5,000. Here we go. Higher and higher. Higher and higher. Well, let's find out right now, Brett. Didn't I tell you about that darned organ? Didn't I tell you about that congregational church? Hallelujah! Didn't I tell you about all... We don't say hallelujah in the congregational hallelujah. church. Hallelujah! Can I get it? say hallelujah. Hallelujah! Congratulations! We got a total of 
A wonderful bunch up here. Thank you all for joining us.